load shedding is upon us again. And with load shedding, everyone is now talking about a possible grid collapse again. And the higher the stages become, the more people start talking about grid collapse. But the problem is, a lot of the fear about a grid collapse is pushed by the media, journalists who are looking for sensation. If you go look at the real technicalities behind the entire system, and believe me, I have done a lot of reading because I am a concerned citizen as many others, I actually went and read about how the power system works and how much power generation is controlled by ESCOM, which is actually only 80% in South Africa, which is controlled by ESCOM, with 20% being controlled by the private sector. A lot of people don't even know that we have private uh, power generation in South Africa. And a lot of these private power generation systems are very well maintained. Now, we have a national command center which controls load shedding. And fortunately, the way that South Africa's power grid has been built, we have a lot of uh, grid inertia that is that keeping to that 50 hertz cycle of the AC. Now, if you don't know what grid inertia is, it's one of those things that you will have to go and read up. This prevents our entire system from collapsing, the grid collapsing. The National Command Center has multiple redundancy systems which monitor the power and they have uh, uh, limits that they have set to prevent grid collapse. And all that will happen is stages will be pushed up, pushed up, pushed up. And eventually you may even get entire provinces that go without power. But the entire grid collapsing I see it as highly unlikely and unfortunately the truth is yes it is possible but unfortunately the journalists the media have latched onto that possibility that 0.00001 percent possibility that it may occur should numerous redundant systems fail that we can have a grid collapse guys don't always trust the media go read for yourself a grid collapse, in my opinion, highly unlikely, and the media should stop with their fear-mongering.